there, everybody. If you love the idea of being outdoors, but you don't exactly want to rough it, we've got you covered. Sebastian Sentner is here to show us the glamorous side of camping. Of course, the director of entertainment special events. You just always do this right. Well, and you know me well. I, I'm not a big camper. Like if there's not like air conditioning and a yeah, mini bar and stuff like that. I think you're preaching to the choir here, Sebastian. But, yeah. but if, we're gonna, five star. if we're going to do it, we're going to do it right. So yes. we're going to add sort of element of style, et cetera, et cetera. But it's things you can also do, whether you're camping in your backyard, mm -hmm. doing throwing a little dinner party, or whether you're actually going out into the woods. These are all ideas that can be prepped ahead of time, mm -hmm. really simple but really flavorful, and that will impress your guests, as we always like Fabulous. to do. Fabulous. Where would you like to start? Should we start? Let's start with cocktails. This That's is, always a good spark. Um, I love how you're doing this. So this is really fun. What this is, this is an idea that we came to with uh, one of our new locations, uh, the 180 at Manual Life Center on the 51st floor. And the idea was that they're curated cocktails. But what you can do when you're actually camping or going over to somebody's house is you can actually get bottles like this. Mm -hmm. They buy them online, make your own labels, etc. And you can get bottle caps just like this. Mm -hmm. This is like a small kit. I think it's like $25 online. Really? And the fun part about all this is... Want me to hold it still? Nope. Look at that. Oh, man. There you go. Ready for the road. Yeah. <laughs> that is so fun. Is that fun? That is like next level. That's fun, isn't it? So you do that. You do a bunch of those. You All you got to do is put them on ice. They'll last three or four days as long as you're not using like fresh fruit in them and things of that sort. And it's just a great way to take the go outdoors but sort of have that element of style. That is the ultimate traveler right there. It is. <laughs> oh, Indeed. Yeah. And you've also brought uh, noodles. With yes, you we well. brought a bunch of different food items. And again, it's mm -hmm. all about preparing ahead of time. So in the case of, for example, the sriracha noodle salad, which is done with grilled shrimp, you can bring the shrimp frozen or raw and cook it on the barbecue and mm -hmm. add it. But everything else is either a noodle that's been cooked ahead of time, um, it's been, it's got some, uh, some beans in there, things that can be done ahead of time that's or that great. are served raw. And we mix it together. We did use these Asian takeout containers which are great. You can also obviously use a little bit of stainless steel, more camping-like, but again, glam camping. Yeah. And it's all things that can be prepared ahead of time, finished on site, still fresh. And when we go to something like the tacos, so people love tacos. See, now you just convinced me. I'm not a camper, but if those are showing up, they're okay. showing up. So we're <laughs> using first off, we're using corn flour tortilla. That's really important because it's a little bit denser, mm -hmm. but it lasts a lot longer. So you don't have to worry about a flour tortilla that'll maybe go stale. Right. We're using a cold slaw. Again, prepared ahead of time. It can sit for a couple of days. It's fine. And then finally, with the halibut, we're just grilling that off on the barbecue right. and adding it. Really sure. simple. And we just really caught easy. it that day. Well, absolutely. You were and these a little like bit of trout up north. <laughs> hot sauce packs. Here. Those are little hot sauce. These are fun. <laughs> Like yeah. laughter. These are sriracha like, sauce. Like, I have fished. Yeah. So these are, again, about, you can prepare these ahead of time. We bought these online. They're little pouches for your sriracha. So you can oh, just add. It. Look at there, that. Depending on how spicy you like it. Center. And very, very easy. And again, it's about having as few things to assemble as possible. So it's all ready to go. And then we got two more items here. First of all, the kettle chips. This has become a bit of a signature item for us. They, the more of this you have, the more of that you want. So they kind of work really well together. Right? <laughs> Rule number one yeah. of yes. the restaurant. Yes. Restaurant yes. business. Make, make people salty. thirsty. Make people really yeah, thirsty. Yeah, very good. And then quench their thirst with great cocktails. Yeah. And then finally what we did is we love to use mason jars. And for camping or glamping, what a perfect way to prepare something like, in this case, our lemon meringue. One for you. Thank you, sir. Oh. One for you, Liza. Yes. And, and that's got like a graham cracker crust in there. Exactly. The it's it's a um, it's okay. almost like between a strudel mm -hmm. and a uh, and a lemon meringue. So it's got everything prepared ahead of time. And for glamping, whether you're using meringue or you mm -hmm. could use whipped cream as well, mm -hmm. all the assembly gets done ahead of time. Yeah. You just keep them refrigerated in the cooler. And then you take the lids off, serve them, ready to That's go. That's crazy good. Mm -hmm. Is that good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, before we go, I have to ask you about these toothpicks. Speaking of glamping, I've never seen toothpicks that actually have like their own handles. Absolutely. Yeah. These are. It's, it's all about the color. It's all about those little accent items, and mm -hmm. all of these little things, from the mason jars, which I think we picked up at the local hardware store, right. to the bottling, to the uh, the toothpicks. All these items you can get online, mm -hmm. and that's the great thing nowadays: is look online, find some fun stuff, and amp up your camping. Right. And P.S. If you're coming to Toronto, now I'm salivating because that was so That's good. That's okay. You know what we need for that? Oh, <laughs> you know me so well. Are you kidding me right now? Um, Jeff? Your new place is called 180, right? Thank you, sir. Yes, it's uh, the 180, which is on the 51st floor of the Manual Life Center. Best view in the country. That's why I wanted to bring it up. Honestly, if you live in Toronto and haven't seen it, check it out. But if you're coming, like, you can see, like, you could probably see the Niagara Falls from there, can't you? On a good day, you can see Niagara Falls. Very nice. Absolutely. Well, Sebastian, thank you so much. Sebastian Sentner from Eatertainment. Cheers. Cheers, Cheers guys. to you. We're going to take a break, but up next, should we 